even more NFL memes. Don't mind if I do. Where did we leave off? <laughs> This is where we left off. Oh my God. Unironically actually tweeted that he needs a long, relaxing massage. You know, what would compel you to tweet that anyway? That's something you just keep to yourself, I guess. He'll fit right in in Cleveland. Deshaun Watson and Elijah Moore. I can't, I can't, I can't. They're gonna, YouTube's gonna take this video down. I, I just started. Elijah Moore was really stuck with the worst QB play in recent memory. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to call it the worst QB play in recent memory, but Zach Wilson really, really, really did struggle. Dude, it was actually crazy when Mike White would come in, how well all the receivers would do. Like, did you see Garrett Wilson's average fantasy points per game with Mike White versus Zach Wilson? I know fantasy football isn't real football, but I mean, still, man. Hey, which Jets wide receiver did the Browns just trade for? Deshaun Watson, after seeing the Elijah Moore trade, nope, nope, nope. Elijah Moore has to do this celebration for his first touchdown in front of the dog pound. Let's see what it is. Mm. Oh, the touchdown. <laughs> Holy shit. Did he get flagged for that? Hey, he has to. That is a whack. I've never seen this. Oh my God. You cannot do that. That's messed up. Did they, did they win that game by the way? Cause that was 21 to 21. You better won that game. Nope. The Browns getting Elijah Moore for a second to third round pick swap. Dude, right there, man. I'll be taking that. Ah! Honestly, pretty good trade for the Browns. Uh, listen, Elijah Moore didn't do that much, but Elijah Moore was really good. Like he was a, he was a good pick. I think, I think if you're a Browns fan, you should be excited to have Elijah Moore. Jets fans remembering Elijah Moore's elite six game stretch in 2021. <laughs> that is a long time ago. That's wild. He was special. He was special. Lamar, get me weapons or I'm out. Ravens, we have signed Nelson Aguilar. <laughs> I'm out of here. He's out of here soon. Now, granted, some of these are a little bit older since I already know, you know, that the Ravens have OBJ and they got Zay Flowers and all that, but it's still funny to look at him. John Harbaugh at the owner's meeting when Lamar made that tweet. Yikes. Robert Kraft says Meek Mill texted him that Lamar Jackson wants to be a Patriot. Kraft responded that it would be a Bill Belichick decision. Dude, the, Robert Kraft and Meek Mill is such a hilarious duo. Bro, this is absolutely insane. I'm sure you guys saw this, but bank robbing Chiefs super fan, Chiefsaholic is currently on the run with a million dollar bond warrant after cutting off his ankle monitor and failing to appear in court. Oh my God. Chiefsaholic after cutting off his ankle monitor. Hey, he moving. Go, 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 go. He kind of moving. Chiefsaholic fleeing across the border with the Mahomes MVP and Chiefs Super Bowl champions bet winnings. There you go, baby. There you go, Chiefsaholic. Chiefs fans in Mexico when they see Chiefsaholic sitting across from them at the bar. She gotta nod and wave, you know? Don't say anything. Chiefsaholic at the 2023 NFL Draft in Kansas City, Texas. Come on. Chiefsaholic after robbing up banks for the Chiefs to afford a Chris Jones extension. All the Batman memes, bro. I can get behind all the Batman memes. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> when police try arresting Chiefsaholic at the Chiefs Week One tailgate party. Put your hands behind your back. I don't think so. Your mistake is thinking you've got a goddamn choice, boy. <laughs> your mistake? Thinking you're in America. I've never seen this scene. This is Brazil. <laughs> Get him. Get him. You can't call yourself a sports fan unless you've robbed a bank and given the money to your favorite player. One of the kind Patrick Mahomes painting and all proceeds go to the Mahomes Foundation. Oh my God. This is so insane. I can't believe that this really happened. Like we live in, we live in this simulation. The matrix is broken. April fools, baby. The Eagles won it. Wow. That is such a good Photoshop. Oh my God. 
It's spectacular. Who made this? Photoshop. This is so good. This isn't a Madden screenshot, is it? Baltimore Ravens, we have agreed to terms with Lamar Jackson, a new five-year deal. Couch. Breaking life in prison, Jackson Mahomes. <laughs> Breaking, purchasing the commanders, Antonio Brown. Announces retirement, Aaron Rodgers. Cowboys signing, Odell Beckham Jr. Bengals signing, Ezekiel Elliott. Fully healthy Michael Thomas. This really is April Fool's, huh? OBJ, we're going to do great things this season. Lamar. I'm not going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> OBJ's dad getting ready to make a Tyler Huntley. <laughs> oh, my tape. <laughs> hey. Odell oh, no, Beckham Jr. signed with the Ravens. Aaron Rodgers. No. The Ravens that you're paying literally every player that isn't their franchise QB. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Oh, I've seen so many ghetto Gronk themes. I've got these breaking bad scenes down to a T. Ravens fans seeing Lamar on FaceTime with OBJ. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this shit means something to me, man. Lamar when the Ravens signed OBJ. I'm not fucking leaving! The show goes on! <laughs> this is my home! They're gonna need a fucking wrecking ball! Get me out of here! The Ravens front office to Lamar Jackson today. Oh! A little Monsters... Monsters University meme? I'll take it. Pull him in there. Get in there. Come on. That's the best move ever. Get him in there. Come on. I want to see it. Come on. Do it. Come on. Hey. There we go. Ravens fans. Odell isn't injury prone. This is a great signing. Odell every season. Jesus. OBJ and Marlon Humphrey at Ravens training camp. Talk to her. <laughs> right. We can go. I'm right here. We can go. I'm right here. And so am I. And I'm right here. And so am I. 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 What is this from? So what's T? So what's T? Yeah. What is this from? Where does he find these clips, bro? What is this from? Hey, Lance's hairline is cooked. Yo, I just want to say, everybody, okay? I know you guys make hairline jokes right now, but let me just give you a little a little spice, okay? A little ice spice here. I am now 25 years old. As of May 4th, I am 25 years old, okay? The amount of my friends that still have a full head of hair and like no receding hairline, other than myself, of course, who has beautiful, spectacular hair genetics. Oh my God! Thank you to Grandfather Meeks, who has spectacular hair at the age of 70. You guys gotta understand, nobody has beautiful hair going into their, like, 25s, 30s. It's super rare. So everybody who's making these jokes about hairlines and LeBron's hairline and this and that, I guarantee you that 80% of you will have a receding hairline come the age of 25, and you'll definitely have a receding hairline come the age of 40. And if you really want to know, go ahead and look at your dad. And if your dad's got receding hairline or he's bald or whatever, you're up next, buddy. So you guys better just, if you got nice hair, you better be grateful. For real. Dude, you know what's funny though? Trey Lance looks just like Trey Young. Like they have such a similar hairline. Trey Lance walking around San Fran. What, what happened to your hair? <laughs> Damn. What you talking about? Your hair. <laughs> what happened to your head? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> He said, don't disrespect me like that. Trey Lance looks like an actor playing Patrick Mahomes in a low-budget film about Andy. He actually does look really similar to Mahomes. They got the same beard and everything. He just needs a little more hair. Yo, if Gideon got the hairline back, anybody get it back. Trey Lance throwback. Is this actually him? Is that actually him? Yo, I love seeing these videos of these dudes when they're like 12. Check his hard drive. <laughs> NFL Sunday ticket will cost 489 illegal streams. Bro, I am really excited for NFL Sunday ticket, but yeah, that's pretty damn expensive. I'm really excited to have it. Like, I'm glad it's on YouTube too, but bro, 
That's almost, that's half a thousand dollars. That is a lot of money. POV, you're watching an illegal stream instead of paying for Sunday ticket. Oh no. How to stream NFL games for free. <laughs> FBI, open up. How much are you charging for NFL Sunday ticket? 700 billion and a trillion, 300 million billion dollars. <laughs> so, that's my favorite Biden clip, bro. Oh, come on, Joe. Wake up, buddy. Let's get it together no. there. <laughs> when the NFL finds out I've been illegally streaming games. Are you for it? <laughs> are you for it? <laughs> <laughs> hey. The illegal stream on my laptop connected to the TV with an HDMI. Heater. 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 Me being arrested for illegally streaming the entire NFL season for... for <laughs> NFL Sunday ticket is just too expensive. Everyone should just use Race Retreat over there in Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a conspiracy. Dude, I saw this. I thought this was interesting. Ben Roethlisberger on Lamar Jackson. You don't really fear Lamar's arm or his accuracy all the time. Safety's down to stop help stop the run. Because you're not you don't really fear Lamar's arm. Um, his accuracy all the time. Sure. He's got a huge arm. He can make things happen when he scrambles and whatever, but you don't fear him just sitting in the pocket and picking you apart. Sure. So you can bring safeties down. <laughs> you, you do fear him running. because This is a bold statement from Ben Roethlisberger. Okay, listen, I love Big Ben and I love Lamar, and I'm not going to sit here and say Lamar is a crazy good passer, but Lamar is really, really, really good. If Lamar was not athletic, we wouldn't even hear this about Lamar. People would just think he's a mid quarterback. <sighs> whatever. I think Lamar gets way too much hate, bro. Career in the pocket. Passer rating, QBR, completion yards. Hey, I don't know though. See, now I gotta go the other way. This is a little cherry picked because Big Ben played well past his prime. Big Ben played for so long when he clearly should not have been playing anymore. So Big Ben's career stats are significantly hindered by the fact that he played, you know, four extra like retirement years. Whereas Lamar has only pretty much played in his prime. If Lamar plays as long as Roethlisberger played, he should also regress. Like, there's no way he continues at that rate. The NFL during Ben Roethlisberger's Hall of Fame induction. Come on out, you... Ah, I can't play it! I can't play it! Shit! YouTube's really strict about the R word. I can't play it. Yo, some chick is passed out drunk in the bathroom. I can't, bro. I can't. Friendly reminder that Big Ben had a worse Super Bowl performance than Trent Dilfer and has never sniffed an MVP despite always having elite weapons. That's true. I'm not going to lie. I like Big Ben, but Big Ben, Big Ben probably had one of the most Mickey Mouse careers as an NFL quarterback, the Steelers have historically had a spectacular defense and they have historically had spectacular wide receivers. We can't forget the fact that Antonio Brown was the best wide receiver in the league for multiple years. When he got into the league, I think Big Ben had Heinz Ward still. He had monsters on that team. I'm just saying if I'm Big Ben, I'm so excited. Like what a sick career. You just, you walk into a team with an insane defense and amazing weapons and it pretty much stays that way your whole career. <laughs> Free dubs, man. Are you kidding me? Free dubs. The Ravens taking number three from <laughs> to give it to OBJ. <laughs> Heartwarming video of Marlon Humphrey helping Odell get up off the ground. <laughs> OBJ and Marlon Humphrey in the Ravens locker room. What is this video? All right, last one. The Cardinals current reality. Buda Baker and D-Hop are likely gone. Kyler Murray, Zach Ertz are recovering from ACLs. J.J. Watt, Zach Allen, Byron Murphy are gone. Head coach is Jonathan Gannon. The owner is accused of cheating, discrimination, harassment. Well, shit, if I'm accused of cheating, discrimination, harassment, then lock me up. Kyler is getting booed at Arizona sporting events, and they're still the only NFL team that charges players for food at the facility. Okay, the charging players for food at the facility is probably the most outrageous thing that I've ever heard. That's fucking insane. This is the day that Buda Baker knew he had to get hey, out of Arizona. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Good. Oh, this is so cringe. I can't even watch this clip. This clip is literally so fucking cringe, I can't watch it. Kyler Murray appears to be ahead of schedule in his ACL rehab. Is that Kyler Murray's kid? Is that... <gasps> I got the joke. I got the joke. I got the joke. I got the joke. Yay! No! Get him! Dude... 
I know how overplayed this clip is. Like, I get that it's been played way too much, but it's such a sick clip. Oh my God, he flags his ass down. Dude, and Buda Baker's not slow. Buda Baker would cook every single one of us watching this video in a 40 yard dash. He would cook all of us. And he got, he, he made him look slow as shit. Cardinals players, after they gave Kyle that contract and hired Gannon. Thank you. We've got to go now. Come in, damn it. Big Bird, this is Bravo 6. We're on our way out. Star players want out, QB doesn't watch film, idiot head coach, bad GM, F minus franchise grade, owner accused of cheating, new uniforms. Okay, unpopular opinion apparently, but I think their new uniforms are so sick. I love their uniforms. I think they're fire. All right, boys, that's it for this NFL meme roundup. Next one will be all the draft memes. I'll be fully caught up, so I'll catch you guys in that heater. Peace.